The city could be seeing its first school bus driver strike in 10 years. And although not every student uses a school bus, those who do heavily rely on them. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian spoke to some of their parents. I don't have another means of getting her to school. Ashley Pimentel from Cypress Hills, Brooklyn, starts her TSA job at 4 a.m. and relies on the city school buses to get her 12-year-old daughter Sophia to school at Lexington School for the Deaf in Queens. With a possible school bus driver strike, remote learning would be the only choice. It's not fair to the kids who um, are, are disabled who are disadvantaged in the, in the first place to have to deal with this. Amanda Nevels from Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. Her daughter Nina goes to the same school. In a meeting last week, school's chancellor David C. Banks estimated 85 to 150,000 students could be impacted by the strike. It would affect our youngest students and our students with special needs. So um, uh, not a good situation. School bus drivers are not city employees. They're contracted by TWU Local 1181. In a statement, its president, Tomas Fret, says, quote, drivers, attendants, and shop employees simply cannot make ends meet, citing their agreements expiring in late June and that it's ready to negotiate a fair contract before the school year starts September 7th. I support the workers in this case. Um, they're not getting what they deserve. It's my opinion that they should be city employees. City Public Schools says it's monitoring the situation, engaging with stakeholders, and informing parents when it can, giving alternatives, emergency metro cards, reimbursement for alternative means, and free ride share, which parents would be required to join them on. She's not taking the train by herself to school. Not now at 12 years old. A social worker with the girls' school shares it will have a remote option for students this year and could mail school work to those living in shelters and asylum seekers living in hotels if it has to. In Elmhurst, Queens, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.